introduction. Uh, again, my name is Stephanie Howe. I'm a PhD student at Boston University. I'd like to thank uh, the country, sorry, the organizers for allowing us to present our uh, research. To begin, we must understand what transcription factors are. Uh, for the rest of this talk, I'll refer to them as TS. These proteins regulate gene expression uh, by using their DNA binding domain to recognize specific DNA sequences called motifs. Apologies for the gibberish. Uh, so in the illustration, you can see that there are uh, various TFs and the motifs that they recognize highlighted in different colors. Once assembled on DNA, they collectively regulate RNA polymerase to control gene expression. A good method to understand transcriptional regulation is creating gene regulatory networks. But in order to do so, it requires uh, well-mapped motifs for every single TF. In order to bolster phenotypic outcome prediction, uh, it's important to understand genomics across diverse species. Therefore, there's an increased amount of research in these non-traditional model organisms. Mm -hmm. However, the lack of well-mapped TFs to motifs in these non-model organisms uh, remains a significant bottleneck. Uh, make empirically defining these motifs is costly and labor intensive making a predictive algorithm for motif prediction desirable viroc et al uh, discover that a 70 percent amino acid identity in the dna binding domains of homologous tfs across species allows for the inference of uh, shared recognition motifs since TFs are well-defined and fall into, sorry, they're evolutionarily conserved and fall into well-defined classes, this method allows for an informatically inference uh, prediction of motifs in these non-model organisms. These predictions will accelerate uh, any research that involves motifs, including gene regulatory network. In order to streamline the motif prediction process, we developed a, a species agnostic modular T motif prediction algorithm called Leverage. It's an open source uh, tool and we welcome any contribution. To begin, it takes in a FASTA file of TF sequences and it finds the open reading frames of these transcription factors. Once uh, the using the sequence, uh, the transcribed sequences, it performs a blast search against four well-defined species, uh, selecting the top 20 genes per species with E value less than 10 to the minus six. With all these DNA binding domains that we discover, the algorithm performs a pairwise global alignment against orthologous TFs. If it hits a 70% identity threshold or higher, the algorithm will use the Jasper motif database to find the predicted orthologous motifs. To enhance user readability, we also uh, developed a graphical user interface to report the results. Uh, the user can navigate by first clicking on the transcription factor gene ID. For simplicity, we're only showing one gene here. Afterwards, the user can select a DNA binding domain name within the gene and the blast hit description that is most pertinent. At the bottom half of the interface, it displays detailed information about the specific hit, allowing users to trace back the gene or protein back using NCBI or Uniprot databases. Finally, the interface also plots the motif logo on the right-hand side. This research was performed as a challenge project team, so I'd like to thank my teammates, Nofo Ordawi, Yeting Lee, Anthony Garza, and our mentor, 
Dr. Cynthia Bradham. We thank our funding sources and for you for your time and attention. I'd be happy to take your questions in the live Q&A. Thank you.